Hello and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Pauline G. Lee and in this video I'm going to be showing you my mates from the spring summer fabric haul. Now the first one we're going to start with is this dress. It's a stretched cotton and here is this lovely scooped neckline and what I have done is I have created some cap sleeves and these cap sleeves are double faced so it's the same on both sides um, just to give it more body and allow the sleeves to stand away from my body to some degree so um, yeah so that's what I've done with the sleeves neckline like I said is scooped and it has this V crossover shaping and slightly gathered under the bust area and it's quite a it's quite an effective style on most body shapes um I would I would have thought and it's a straight dress with a peplum at the end and this is gorgeous I wasn't going to do the peplum at the end but I had some fabric left over because I just wanted to keep it a simple lightweight dress and then I thought hmm let me have a go but there wasn't enough to make it in like so that I've got seams on each end here to match it with the side seams of the dress so there are so you've got one seam there and I've got one also in the middle there so there's four seams to the uh, to the peplum which is great I don't mind um, and you can perhaps see the center one there or maybe not hopefully not ish um the gathers are doing its job more or less but it's great when you walk in it it makes you feel sexy and it bounces and that's what i like um i've experimented with the hem here so i haven't stitched top stitched it because there's no top stitching on the dress whatsoever and I don't want that on the hemline and I prefer to hand sew my hemlines but I thought I'd do a little bit of experimentation with this. So I've actually put in here a, a hemming tape which is, um, it's got, it's like glue. So, um, and it's, it, what it's done is it's really nice actually. It feels firm. And I think it's good for this type, this, this particular um, kind of style with the flounce, with the flounce or the peplum to the dress. And um, when I first applied it, the peplum was a lot more. What how should we say? Um, had a bit more volume to it and it's sticking out a bit more. And now that's more relaxed, and it has been several weeks. Yeah, uh, in several weeks um, since I've made this dress, and. I just love it. It's, it's um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, and I don't really do this to a lot of my dresses. This is probably the second one I've actually done. Like I said, I love my hand sewing. And um, so, yeah, so that is looking gorgeous. And the fact, I wasn't really sure about this fabric when I first bought I knew I loved the fabric, but I wasn't sure about what style to go for. And now that I've done it in this, Style. it's gorgeous and it fits beautifully it is semi fitted so um, it's not hugging my body but it's giving the illusion that it is hugging my body because I don't want it to and I think once you've got those drafting skills you can do that and um, yeah and I think it suits my body shape so that's the front of the body and this is the back so what I did was and this is just playing around with ideas really um, I've got a centre back seam on the front the centre back seam um, which is because um, I've got a top bodice here which has no seam and from the seam that comes across the body I've got a centre back seam and um, the pattern on the fabric is what you call a repeat pattern and it just goes in one direction but what's quite clever with this fabric, you can't really tell, um, and that's great. And uh, yeah, that really does give a beautiful shape to the dress. And I put a lapped 
zip, zipper insertion in, and that goes into a side seam, and I've got hook and eye to keep it together at the top as well. So that is my one of my spring summer makes. Let me just turn it inside out. So the inside of your garment should be just as pretty as the outside. So there you go, my overlocking or serge seams. And I'll spoil the choice whether to put a lilac zip or a green zip or even a grey zip, which probably is a good option because um, grey can, if you're not sure what zip to put into a dress, Grey would go with most colours, so if, if you ever come across that dilemma, just choose a grey zip. Um, well, I, I just like playing around, so I just went for lilac because of the bits of lilac that's in the dress, and yeah, that's the reason why I've chose lilac. And there is a facing, and I'm so happy the way it turned out. So that's the inside of the dress. And that's it. The next part of the video, you're going to actually see my lookbook of how I've actually styled it. Kept the styling quite simple. So that's what you're going to be looking at now. Here it comes. You do, <laughs> you really do, yeah. not in the way that you think, yeah, I'm here, look, I made this, but it does give you just that little bit more confidence somewhere. Anyway, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the button, do give us a thumbs up and like the channel, and I will see you next time.